celebrities who were banned from the Playboy Mansion. So hi guys, welcome back to the channel again and hope you are all doing good. In today's video, we are going to talk about the celebrities who were banned from the Playboy Mansion. But before starting the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon too. Now let's get started. Playboy Mansion is known for its exclusive guest lists and playmates. But there are numerous reasons why celebrities get banned from legal controversies to misconstructions at parties. After the launch of Playboy magazine under Hugh Hefner in 1953, the publisher established Playboy Mansion 1953 in Chicago. The place remained his domicile until he moved base to California and contributed the property in 1971. Playboy administration bought a gothic Tudor style mens for $1.1 million and spent a many fresh million for improvements. The home features 29 apartments and recreational spaces, including a pet cemetery, screen room, game room, and swimming pool. Since Hefner began living in the property, it turned a popular destination for exclusive parties where socialites and celebrities were invited to mingle and have fun. Also, Hefner's life included covering multiple model playmates who socialized and stayed with him. While events were much flawless at the mansion, numerous popular faces got banned from the Playboy Mansion for colorful reasons. Let's look at the celebrities who weren't allowed inside the Playboy Mansion. Luke Wilson During an interview with Howard Stern in 2006, actor Luke Wilson admitted that he got banned from the Playboy Mansion. He was denied entry after he fit that his friend was his brother Owen Wilson and was put on the DNA list. It's a do not admit list and the ban lasted for 18 months after which he was allowed back to attend the parties. Wilson also detailed that only the people on the guest list are allowed in the home while women must send their screenshots so the administrations can determine if she's seductive enough to enter. Jim Brown With the release of the 2022 miniseries Secrets of Playboy, numerous behind-the-scenes aspects have slipped light on the disquieting history of the mansion. One of the most prominent figuring who was a regular at the house was retired NFL player Jim Brown. As a close friend of Hefner's, his misconducts were largely ignored until he beat a girl who was transferred to the hospital. After a brief period, he made a return and continued his frivolous work. Holly Madison As the Playboy Mansion has made gossip headings regarding what happens, behind the doors, numerous former housemates have made public statements that got them banned. Holly Madison was originally hysterical to leave the house as she admitted that Hugh Hefner had nasty pics of her, but she escaped. She revealed that Hefner had a scrapbook with pics he'd planned to contribute eventually. Jason Statham one of the most important aspects of undergoing a party at the Playboy Mansion is posing for photos. When Jason Statham attended a Midsummer Night's Dream theme party in 2008 dressed in a bathrobe, Hugh Hefner demurred him out for not posing with the models in the mansion. He returned five years thereafter for the screening of his film Parker, who played the nominal part of a thief in the Art Heist project. Carissa and Christina Shannon Twins Carissa and Christina Shannon were 18 and Hugh Hefner was 83 when they became playmates and lived inside the mansion. Due to their sexual run-ins with Hefner, they were diagnosed with PTSD and chlamydia at just 19. After 18 months and a pregnancy panic, the twins left the mansion and weren't allowed back unless they would have sexual intercourse with Hefner. Carla Howe Model Carla Howe stirred chatter in 2015 when she was a housemate at the Playboy Mansion and spoke against the place's life. She described the stay as imprisonment with strict curfews and restrictions. Howe said that no manly visitants were allowed and women had to return before 9 p.m. or were banned from the mansion. Her stay at the mansion didn't last long as she left and soon after Hafner passed away. Kendra Wilkinson Soon after Holly Madison spoke out about her experience at the Playboy Mansion, Kendra Wilkinson wasn't far behind with her stories to share. She moved to the house at 18 years of age and admitted that she required to agree to have sexual relations with Hugh Hefner if she wanted to live in the mansion. A many years afterward, she left the place and now has children. In 2016, the Playboy Mansion was funded for $200 million with the conditions that Hefner could live rent-free until his death. A years after, the property was funded for a whopping $100 million to Darren Metropolis, who agreed with the government not to demolish the property. The Playboy Mansion will always be flashback for its exclusive events and celebrity-filled parties. So, all these celebrities, including Kendra Wilkinson, Carissa and Christina Shannon, and others, they all were banned from the Playboy Mansion for a specific concern. Well, it's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. 
I will see you in the next video, till then bye bye and thank you for watching.